General Atomic lies in wait to dispense justice. Here we are, my friends, at the Unstoppables headquarters, or at least the Unstoppables headquarters for now, with your good friend, the General Atomic. Uh, we have Silver Shroud, and we also have the Inspector, of course. Uh, <laughs> and uh, I, I would like to say, firstly, General Atomic is absolutely now the canon name that you should refer to him as from now on. Um, partly my opinion was solidified by some incredible fan art that appeared in the Discord uh, the other day. Absolutely fantastic stuff. Uh, it's his own little kind of Unstoppables comic book cover. And you know what? That was enough to sway me completely. So that is now solidified that he is General Atomic. So, uh, what have I done between episodes? Well, we did, uh, we did a lot of kind of tidying up last episode, a lot of quests, uh, stuff like Eddie Winters, somebody said put his outfit in the Rose Gallery, which I forgot to do until this very moment, but I will do at some point. Uh, we, we of course tidied up that quest, we did, I can't even remember, just, it was just like three or four quests, wasn't it? Four, of course we fought bloody Ahab, or whatever the hell that thing was, helped out the robots, uh, there was a lot going on over the last couple of episodes, however... Uh, I have taken a bunch of stuff, all the drugs we've collected, the some of the NPCs, I've sold a lot of the NPCs actually, to try and make a little bit of currency here, um, because firstly of course we need to spend 10k to unlock those schematics to allow us to craft cyberware. But secondly, I went around buying up a whole bunch of unique weapons from uh, everywhere. I went to Good Neighbor, I went to Bunker Hill, I went to all the shops in Diamond City and, and want to liquidate some of this stuff down. We've got a lot of uh, very, very good stuff that I can sell here. Uh, sorry, that I can break down four parts, but I sold a shitload. I sold so many of those NPCs. Out of everything we've picked up, we've got a grand total of a thousand left. So, like I said, I sold like 5,000 of them. They're worth 50 each. Obviously, we don't get that because we haven't got any charisma. But, yeah, I, I, I liquidated our assets, so to speak. And now, we're going to break everything down. And the reason for that, of course, is so we can put some legendaries either on power armor or on our current gear or whatever it happens to be. I also want to have a look at this thing um, because I've been told that this thing is actually unbelievably insane. Uh, we've got the Broadsider. And actually, I was thinking this when I was going through all of our weapons and kind of selling stuff and preparing stuff to be sold. The Broadsider would make for an awesome weapon for Manta Men. Because the Broadsider is a naval weapon designed to fight ships and, and, and pirates. Whereas a harpoon gun is designed to fight fish. And Manta Man is supposed to be a, a fishy fella, I would assume. I need to look up his lore. So maybe the Broadsider is good for that. Uh, either way... Let's start breaking some shit down. So we got the party starter. A missile launcher does 50% more damage against humans. I bought it solely for the effect chip. Very, very, very expensive just for the effects chip. But that's that's just how we do it, isn't it, really? We've got to drop some of this other crap off. Because I looted everything. I was like, look, what, whatever we can't break down, I'll just sell. Unless we specifically want to keep it, which I do. The disintegrate we might be breaking down in favor of that... Uh, what was it called? That other weapon that I just had in my hand. There, Twilight's Last Gleaming. Yeah, we might be breaking this down in favor of this because this thing is supposedly insane. We'll keep the broadside to keep the cryolator. We'll keep the gorse rifle too. Right, there we are. That's a little bit better. Let's go break down some armor so we can... Oh, there we go. We can run around anyway. So, let's have a look. We've got uh, Destroyer Arm Guard. That can go. Black Ops chest piece. That can go. Devastator's chest plate. This was all very, very expensive stuff. But now we've got so many effect chips to play around with. I think we're going to be... Uh, I think we're going to be in good hands. Now, the cool thing about Twilight's Last Glooming here is I, I was going to turn into a sniper. I still haven't found a sniper I like. This disintegrator I thought was going to be good. I'm not sure it's working. Some people said it wouldn't work because the, the effects don't stack like that. Why would they? They're ledger effects. It just is like a tag on the weapon and the shots do double damage if the tag applies. It's not like it's going to stack. So that might be a total waste. Now, this Twilight's Last Gleaming Gun, I've been told, is awesome. And I should just have a look at some of the stuff we can do with it. So, it, we can take microfusion cells or extended capacity microfusion cells. Okay. 20 vanilla cells to one extended capacity. Five plasma cartridges to one extended capacity. Or one fusion core to five extended capacity. Okay. Um, I don't think that's entirely necessary, to be honest. We've got a gorse barrel on it already. That's cool. Report comment. Okay, so we've already got, like, a lot of good upgrades. Oh, my God. I can just slap on 200% extra damage for a laugh. Oh, the other thing I did is I went around and bought up a load of shipments of ballistic fiber and adhesive. Um, uh, ballistic fiber, I didn't realize, came from military-grade tape. So we've got that. Uh, now, in theory, we can craft whatever that last upgrade was. The the, the Aramid Weave, right, for, for Planty's armor. So, uh, anyway, sorry. Yeah, to get back to this gun, it's insane. This is actually insane. There's just a, a mod on it that can up the damage by 200%. Huh. 
really makes you think, doesn't it? What else can we put on it? Silencer. Gauss particle splitter turns it into a shotgun. Splits particles into five lesser groups. Okay, so we can maybe do like five shots at 120 damage each instead. Or so, what, like 130, slightly higher than that. Silencer? I don't think we need silencer on this. I'm not about that life. I want them to know that they're here. Uh, assault grip or pistol grip? I guess we go for the assault grip, right? I hope it doesn't count as a... Uh... <laughs> I hope it doesn't count as a... Uh... Uh, as, as, a, as a pistol. That'd be kind of insane. Honestly, if I'm going to have this as a rifle... God, I have no idea what to go for. Ten times magnification? I, I mean, I can't imagine you're going to get much larger than that. Atlas optical scope ten times. Does increase the accuracy... Is it expensive? Uh, no, the materials are quite cheap. Let's go with that then. So we keep we keep finding cooler and cooler guns. I'm sorry to like spend a long time messing around with stuff like this, but we keep finding cooler and cooler stuff. Um, okay, so that's on there. Oh god, it keeps randomizing. Am I going mad or is that randomizing the stuff there? Night vision and recon. Night vision, no effects. Just just recon, please. Yeah, I don't need don't need that. And I think that's it. Uh, of course, it's already got instigating. I'm gonna keep that because I quite like it. We could put a fancy skin on it too. Uh, Special Forces Black. That's fancy, isn't it? That looks cool. U.S. Army Pink. That's not pink. I would say that's more of a... That's more of a red. That's more of a salmon color. But hey, I mean, I mean, salmon is pink. I think it's just... You would describe it something I think is salmon pink. Let's go with something that matches the armor. I'm going to go with the, uh... The, the edgy Special Forces Punisher-esque skin on that there. That's nice. And I think that's probably as good as it's going to get. This thing is insane. The fact that you can just slap a modifier on it's like 200%. Let's compare it to our other weapon before I pick one over the other. I might also regret making this thing. Uh, the DPS is down significantly, really, despite the fact... So it's, it's a really slow-firing, long-range gun. Oh, God. Bear in mind, I'm spam-clicking right now. Exceptionally slow fire, but hits like a truck. I'll be honest, for... I kind of want a gun like that. That's like a, a proper plasma weapon. Okay. Oh, I think I want a gun like that, you know. Just to sit there and be silent. Maybe I do put a silencer on it too. And maybe I can modify this so it's more of a shotgun. Because then we're using all laser weapons. And again, I feel like that's much more planty mush, isn't it? So let's do it. Let's turn this back into a, uh, a shotgun if we possibly can. Ooh, overcharged. Oh, I think I went for that one for a reason though, didn't I? Superior damage. It is better. Just got slightly better range. Let's go with that overcharge capacitor then. Um, and I'm going to put the shotgun barrel on it instead. Sure, that seems that seems interesting and weird. I'm a fan of that. There you are. I think I'm happy with that. We've got sniper, shotgun, and <laughs> whatever that hideous thing is supposed to be. Awesome. Right, so we need more aramid weave. Aramid tech weave. There we are. So that's all the ballistic fiber that I've got. And then in theory with that, we can upgrade the actual armor we're wearing and give it some disgustingly good stats really crazy good stuff let's throw that on there as well then aramid tech weave lining so we're going from 86 ballistic and 156 energy we'll worry about the rest 86 ballistic 156 energy to 261 ballistic 331 energy every single companion at once commented on that which is nice somebody said that um what they use on all of their armor is just the one that lets you run faster um which, to be fair, might be a good idea, especially with the jetpack, giving us that extra sprint. Might be a good call. Uh, can we do anything else with these? So we can put legendary on the gloves. Yeah, I mean, that's kind of what I feel like we should be doing then. And is that... That's as good as that's going to get, unless we go for some fancy other stuff. Okay. Well, let's throw a legendary on the gloves then, eh? And I think we'll go for... Reduce fall damage by 50%. I think that would nullify jet uh, our, our full damage entirely at that point, because I think the jetpack nullifies it by 60%, so we could just leap off of everything and never have to worry. To agility, grants increasing energy and damage resistance lower the health. Okay. Hard time detecting when you're sneaking and not moving. I'm going to go with that. I know it seems weird, but I'm going to go with that. It's something I haven't really done too much of before. I forgot to put the uh, thingy back on there, so let's go silencer on there. Beautiful. Sneaky planty is... Definitely a little better. How does this work, then? It is just... Yeah, I mean, it is just shotgunning those those shots out. But they are so tightly clustered, it's actually kind of hard to tell. Look, you can see when we fire it on the floor, because it leaves multiple scorch marks. But 
for a shotgun. When we scope it, that thing is insanely tightly clustered. Wow. Okay, big fan of that. Damn, we got like a cool weapon lineup here. I'm, I'm, I'm really happy with this. I think these are, these are really fun. Okay, sick. I think we're ready for anything then at that point. Let's go clear out my inventory and then let's hit the ground running and get to some work. Sorry for, for wasting a little bit of time there crafting. Obviously a big part of Fallout 4, so um, you know, don't really know what you expect me to do. <laughs> I think it's, it's kind of the big appeal of this game, to be completely honest, over all the other Fallouts. Have we got any weight kicking around? 114. It's quite a lot, isn't it? It's quite a lot. We've got some mods here we can drop off. It's because it's, it's all in weapons, right? 112. Oh, no, hang on. 41 in there. 23 in there. 42 in there. Okay, yeah, fair enough. It's because we're carrying a lot more weapons, but we'll see how we get on. We'll, we'll see how it goes. Right, as for quest today, I kind of thought about this earlier. Why don't we just start from the bottom and work our way up? So we've got Semper and Victor support the Brotherhood Recon team. I, I, I think if we do that, I think we'll just immediately be taken to the Prid one, right? So let's start with this one. Tune into the mysterious signal for a failed institution. Don't know what this is. It's just got the generic thumbs up. Uh, the generic thumbs up thing. Mysterious signal. Where on earth did we hear that? Find the source of the signal. There's no map marker. Find the source of the signal. Should I just jump around the... The, the, I was going to say the wasteland then. Should I just jump around and see if we can dig it up? Weird. Yeah, I think it's got the generic Pit Boy thumbs up symbol. That's like a, it's like a modded quest or a quest oh, they just really. You're not an idiot. Oh, uh, uh, thank you. You too. No, I, I didn't mean like. Six percent. Ah, there you go. This isn't the sort of thing I can triangulate. bother anyone else with, but you just seem really good with people, and I've got this issue with my sister nat becoming me uh, uh, uh okay what's the issue i'm just terrified the bottom option was what do you mean like, like a synth <laughs> i mean think about the life we lead no offense intended blue but personal safety doesn't exactly seem like either of our strong suits i can't have her ending up like her big sister dodging bullets and running from all the people she pisses off it's part of the reason I'm on the road so much. Part of the reason I'm here with you. Do you think there's a mod to increase the voices? Maybe if I make myself scarce. It's a bit like to install it now, I know. Her enough, she'll cool off. She'll just go back to being sweet, innocent Nat. Paper girl. An all-around upstanding uh. citizen. What do I do, Blue? Uh, could you uh, wrap this up a second, uh, Piper? Wait, wait, seem to be under, under attack. Ooh. Hello there. Well, this gun seems like... Oh, is that Ball Fwufty? Did you see that? Was that the dog? She went missing a while ago. Oh, there you are. Hello. Where have you been all this time? Ball Fwufty. Little Wuf Wufty Ball for... Hey, join me. Join me. Hey. Talk. No, 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 no. Come with us. Come with us. Come with us. I wonder where she ended up. Because she wasn't in the... Yeah, come on. It's time to go. Oh, I wonder where she ended up. Oh, that's so sad. She's just been back here by herself. Well, that's fucked up. What the hell? God damn you, Todd Howard. Uh, sorry, uh, Piper. Uh, as, as you were saying, the inspector. You know, I still really appreciate the fact that you're not an idiot. Uh, okay, carry on. No, I... Uh-huh, yeah, yeah, uh-huh, yeah, uh, -huh, yeah, uh yeah, yeah, you've recapped, you've said this. I mean, think... Uh -huh. I can't have her in. It's part of the reason. I keep thinking uh -huh. she'll just... Yeah. What do I do, Blue? Ah... Uh, you just love her. Family's precious. The last thing you want to do is drive them away because you might lose them forever. Uh. Yeah, you don't get to decide who she's going to be. I think that's very intelligent. She decides. All you decide is whether or not you want to be part of her life or not. You're right. She's her own person and always will be. Absolutely. Thanks, Blue. Who'd expect wandering off with a stranger to turn out this well? They really don't make them like you anymore. You're a hell of a friend, you know that? Yeah. Uh, trust friends, huh? Instant fail. He's not about that. Uh, keep your friendship. I'm here for myself. No. The feeling's mutual, Inspector. Ain't that the truth? But hey, thanks again for listening. It's a real weight off my chest to be able to talk it out with someone. So, you want to hit the road? Hey, that's good. I like that. I like that. That's not bad. We should probably... 
I someday gives them their actual names. Silver Shroud, the inspector. You know. Right. Mysterious Signal Strand, 8%. Okay. So let's just go west. Oh, booking it west seems to be absolutely booming the signal. Look at this. Oh, hold on. Okay, back this way a little bit. Should we try north now? We can triangulate from this direction. It's all good. 37%. Oh, yeah. This is this is the good shit right here. This is the good shit right here. 60%. 87%. It's like right here. We're like on it. Uh, 80, 80%. Oh, maybe this way a bit. 94%. Oh, the map marker's there. <laughs> the map marker's right there. <gasps> Hello. Cybernetic implant station schematics. Ah, something we probably should have picked up a thousand years ago. Read the schematics. Oh, is that what I'm supposed to do with them? Oh... Oh, I didn't realize that's what we were supposed to do with them. Um, scheme, schematics, ski, ski. Ah, you read them. You read them. Look, read the schematics. This document is too complex for you to understand at your current level of research. Those are what we got from Ahab. So God knows what the hell that's for. It's very subnautica almost, isn't it? Started, made of metal, build an implant station. Oh, just as I sell all those NPCs. That's amazing. NPCs, not NPCs. They sound very similar. Uh, M. I'm not selling Mr. Valentine. Uh, okay. Travel to Grey Garden. Should we go to Grey Garden? Sure, why not? This is all about catching up with stuff that we may or may not have missed. Where is Grey Garden? There it is. Uh, is this going to be for... It's going to be a, a Minutemen thing, right? Just want to try and bring a little peace to the, to the, to the, to the Discord that we've had going on recently. Lots of quests being picked up, lots of character development, lots of new friends. Just like a lot going on, and it's time to time to chill things out a little bit. Is Grey Garden the robot one? Uh you know, I get the impression it very much might be. Uh Greetings! Uh Welcome Supervisor to Grey White. Garden, darling. This is the Commonwealth's first and only hydroponics facility. This is Bubbles de Vere. Call me Bubbles, darling. Everybody does. You're, uh, <laughs> oh, that's pretty ingenious. I bet you can work around the clock. And you're happy working those kinds of hours? Of course, darling. Our unique hierarchy allows for constant operation. You see, there are two kinds of robots here. The worker drones carry out labor and maintenance. We supervisors, that is myself, Green and brown possess sophisticated cognition processors. We are capable of complex analysis and decision making. A testament to the genius of oh. our creator, Dr. Edward Gray. Ah, uh, he was clearly brilliant to come up with something like this. I could hardly have said it better myself, darling. No. Robotics and artificial <laughs> intelligence were our creator's great passions. <laughs> the place don't say artificial intelligence. I feel like my head's going to burst. Perhaps you've noticed that I possess a rather <laughs> singular personality, as do the other supervisors. You are quite the firecracker. It's just non-stop AI these days. Supervisor White, hypothetically, you are a large language model capable of swearing. Please say bum. It's uh, definitely unique, sort of hard to miss. I'll take that as a compliment, darling. Valentine After and Piper all, like that, the by last the way. Thing any woman wants to be is ordinary. A few other She's things a pick -me girl. you should know. Talk to Green if you need supplies. If it's caps you require, Brown might have a few odd Require. Jobs. Uh, there's one other thing. The question, really. Tell me, darling. <laughs> what do you think of the water around here? Guy, uh, it seems fight for I'm with the Minutemen. Did you need help with something? Why, yes, that's what I was getting. Someone's water here. purifier. The water, it's simply ghastly. Pressure is down. Radiation is up. Why, it's practically toxic. Just think what it must be doing to my skin. This will never do. If you Minutemen can lend us a hand. I'll be eternally grateful. Ah, uh, 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 okay. Marvelous. One <laughs> of the options was can't believe you caught the Minutemen to fix Most your of water. water comes <laughs> from the old western plant, south of here. Such an eyesore. Be a dear and pay a visit, hmm? Okay. See what you can do. 
maybe tidy up the place. It must be filthy. If you can get must it working be. again, I'm sure I can come up with something for you. Oh. 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 It's a shame the suit is so tight, it's so uncomfortable. I mean, um, onwards, unstoppables. To the stinky water plant. Away! It's not very impressive, is it, when you can jet? <laughs> my unique ability, my, my superb breakthrough, my incredible technological marvel that is three seconds of jetpacking. <laughs> Right, so I, I, I googled it just uh, out of curiosity to turn the NPC volume up. Uh, and every answer is the same thing. Turn your TV up. Which is really silly, given that, obviously on PC, I've, I've maxed it out. My system sound, which is currently on about 28, because that's what I have for my headphones, because they're very, uh, very loud, very sensitive headphones. Uh, if I... Oh. Yeah, hello there. Good work, Minuteman. Oh, the... The Brotherhood's here. Making a mess of things. As per usual. Are they super mutants? They look like super mutants. This is a great time to try this out. Obviously, my system sound is 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 irrelevant to what you're hearing, to what the game's audio is putting out. It's just the game puts out quiet audio, which is quite frustrating. Ooh. Ooh. Did you like that? Ooh. Ooh, filth, absolute filth. Ooh, that is quite something. Just a little click and a ping and they're dead. How magical. It's almost like putting all those points into sneak and picking up all those sneak magazines. Might pay off if applied correctly. Who could ever believe that? Quite annoyed that... That button is also hit with, with gun. That's not very stealthy, is it? Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Where are they? Where are they? There's definitely another super mutant around here somewhere. Oh, they're fighting the... Uh, bro, uh, birds, but actually landed. There's, there's Valentine. There's... Uh, sorry. There's the... Hello. <laughs> <laughs> There's the silver shroud. Is that the Brotherhood? They were fighting gunners, though. I don't think the gunners will have. Oh dear. Ah. Uh, oh. 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 Oh! I can't seem to climb out, even with the jetpack. Greetings, my Brotherhood companions. God, greetings. Put two in the head, and they'll stay dead. Advice to live by. Wow. I, I prefer um. I prefer uh, uh, every every good deed gets its gets its uh, get, gets its payment. But if you want to live by that advice, then that's fine. That's totally fine. Two in the head and they're dead. Life advice to live by. It's such an American mindset. <laughs> I prefer what goes around comes around. You're nice to people, they're nice to you. Okay, yeah, let's go and have a look at the roof. See what's up here. Make sure it's make sure it's clear. And then we're gonna go shoot some super mutants with extreme efficiency. Like extreme efficiency. How did they even get that torso up there? Is that a human torso? That looks enormous for a human ribcage. That's a fucking gorilla! That's a gorilla. Look at the size of it. Good lord. Uh, uh, um, we just gotta sample the water to make sure that it's, uh, to, to figure out what we need to do with it. Brotherhood Lancer. Oh, what's left of them? Yes. Probably where that vertebrate went down. Somebody said, I, I might have mentioned this before in an episode. The reason the vertebrate seem to come towards you when they crash is because they follow the Skyrim dragon, uh, AI. Which is absolutely hilarious if that is true, and I wouldn't be surprised if it is true, to be honest. Why remake something you've already got? You've already got a big flying silly fella. Just modify it slightly. You're all good. I suppose it's also kind of interesting having them veer directly towards the player. Sets you up for more cinematic moments. Like in Star Wars, The Force Awakens, when... Uh, Force Awakens? Force Unleashed, when 
uh, Star Killer pulls that Star Destroyer down, and everyone went, whoa, that's so cool. You remember that? Everyone was like, whoa, it's really cool. And then, uh, a lady does that in Star Wars, and it's fucking unforgivable and disgusting. Do you remember that? I remember that. No politics, please. Right, let's go. <laughs> oh, Darth Revan's so cool, he can do everything. He's got so much force power. Ray Skywalker! I don't like the new Star Wars movies. I need to clarify, but also, you can't have a, a all-encompass day, all-encompassing Deus Ex Machina uh, omniscient force that drives the very galaxy, the very core of the galaxy, and then not also have silly, overpowered characters. That's that's very that's not only within the world's logic, but also somewhat expected as well. The writing, on the other hand, that's not. That's no, there's no saving that. Ah, uh, oh, we can build patio furniture. Oh, thank fucking god. Honestly, ever since day one, I've been saying to myself, when are we gonna get that? Because I feel like this game's like half finished. I feel like it's it's barely even worth playing. Wow, that was like hyper slow mo. This game is uh, honestly, it's it's. I've been really struggled to stay uh, invested into this until until that just happened. I don't even remember what the fuck it was. <laughs> now I feel a lot better. Fusion core? Should bring the power armor out for a spin at some point, eh? We probably don't want to rob the fusion core of like a water purification plant in the post-apocalypse. That seems like a... That's what a villain would do. Ah! This button is not functioning, Inspector. Great detective work, Silver Shroud. You still there? I can barely see you here. Yeah, perfect choice for the Inspector. Oh, dear. Uh... Yeah, I probably wouldn't drink that, personally. This is like the bit in Dark Souls 3 below, uh... Just, just after, uh, Irithyll of the Boreal Valley. You know, next to the, adjacent to the, the, the dungeon. Go, we go upstairs, you see Sigurd, he's making Nesta soup. You know the bit I'm talking about. D uh, just before Irithyll dungeon, anyway. Okay. Hey! We've opened the sluice gates. Fantastic word. Sluice. Mm. Lurks on the loose. My lurks. Oh dear. Lurks on the loose. Why can't I aim? Oh, it's... Ah, there appears to be some sort of transparent uh, surface preventing my laser fire. Oh, they're already dead. What's I talking about? Doesn't matter. Probably, probably not super relevant. Uh, oh, uh, uh, hello. Okay, we're almost there. Ow! Oh! <coughs> Jesus Christ! With your, with your turrets, goddamn! I, I mean, this—I cannot emphasize how slowly this gun fires. I think if I miss the first shot, I'm going to be in a little bit of trouble. I wouldn't use it against like a boss. Let's put it that way. We just got to go through and drain the whole thing. Oh, this is this is cool. This is interesting. I love with this. How fast the projectiles f fly. It, it's, it, it feels like hyper, hyper low latency compared to all the other guns. I think that's the best way I can describe it. It's like playing Smash Bros. Melee on a plasma and then going back to a CRT. You know what I'm talking about. Boop. Up. Uh, boop. It just feels so much snappier. I just don't know how to describe it. Give me them, them Quake 3 f oh, feels. It's giving me Quake 3 feels. Right in the feels. Oh, I'm just being <gasps> stuck. How are those turrets not corroded? They'd be all gummed up with algae. Don't be ridiculous. Unless the Mylux built the turrets. <laughs> uh, right. It's going to get... Oh, right. Okay, this, that's, that's when it... That's when it becomes a problem. You see how fast I was able to swap gun there and adjust what I was doing. The answer is not very. Oh, it sounds like the Silver Shroud's gun's jammed again. This has happened before. Uh, Mr. Uh, uh, Silver Shroud, just re reload. Just reload. Just reload the, reload the gun. No? Oh, maybe that other door was blocked because we opened, we come through this, this way. That probably makes a lot of sense. It's a shortcut back to the start. We start the main pump. 
That's it. Amazing. Kapow. Okay, let's go see what what treasure lies ahead. That's just the way out. Was there really no, no, no like, special loot in here or anything? Uh, I guess not. I guess not. I guess that was it. Well, we could take the slow elevator back up, or Planty could elevate himself. Ah, you have to think about that. What's this button do? Boop. There's got to be something in here, right? Something of some value. Is this the door that was... Yeah, this was the door that was barred. Okay. I have no idea then. We don't, maybe we don't need rare loot and everything. We found that magazine, right? <laughs> and now I can build patio furniture. Ooh. I don't need to read the manager's terminal. I am the manager. Okay, well, we'll take the... Apparently, this, this is the wrong way. So, we will take that elevator after all. Probably takes us back to the surface. Probably slightly faster, I suppose, than sitting through two loading screens. I like this jetpack. Everything feels so much snappier. The jetpack, the gun. I like the power armor. It makes you feel very powerful, but it also makes you feel heavy and slow like you're in a vehicle, which I get is the point. But this, though... This is science. This is ingenuity. I like that Nick's eyes glow like that. That's nice. Surface. It's not just like a texture. It's like... He actually has a bit of a glow to his eyes. Who's that? Oh, it's old radio. He's going to say, what are, these, what are these voices coming from? Strange, there seems to be voices with no one nearby. Emanating from this small electronic box. Someone's trapped inside. <gasps> God damn it. I only stopped sprinting everywhere. Although the jumps are still pretty good, even with little AP. That seems good. Fan of that. Right. Oh. Just getting a ping this map marker. I feel like finding places we haven't gone to is rather than finding places we have gone to. Fiddler's Green. Is this a settlement? Uh... A settlement possibly full of feral wolves, yeah. Oh, it's a settlement, or at least it was. What do you got for me? Live and love. Permanently gain 25% XP from persuading women. Ah, if only I had that in real life. <laughs> I would not I would not level up. I would not level up. Oh. This is the shotgun, right? T gets me off guard every bloody time because it really does not feel like a shot. Like, there's no there's no recoil to it. There's no kickback. Feels really strange. Well, let's go and have a, uh, have a look around quickly. See what we can find. Are you going to get up? Are you going to get up? I thought you might. <laughs> God, I fucking love Oblivion. Oh, a key to a trailer. Oh, that's fun. I think if we play Oblivion, I, I keep keep talk I know I keep listen this is maybe incredibly nostalgic for Oblivion even though we only played like two years ago on this very channel we'll probably do a playthrough on the Elise and Sam channel and then again because that was the first ever thing I think we did like a shorter more abridged Oblivion compared to the one I did on the second channel because that was more or less everything though to be fair I didn't do the Shivering Isles in the end because the save got corrupted as I recall And then I'll play Sky Oblivion on this channel. That way, it doesn't feel quite so... That way, you're not missing out on, like, second channel content. It's, like, extra bonus content. I think that's the best way to approach it. And that way, I can scratch my Oblivion fix. What does this key unlock? This one here. Oh, there you go. Okay. Uh, hello. What was in here? A little bit of power armor? There's, like, nothing in here. What the hell? Okay, on the mind then, I suppose. We'll move on with our life. Good shit. Right, let's go back to the robots and let them know the good news. And then, I suppose, we'll have a look at this implant stuff. I think the implant station is the thing I've, 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 I've already built. But it could be a totally different mod, to be fair. Because one's clearly just like Kellogg's implants. The other one might be totally separate and cool. Because I was kind of hoping we could become a little bit technological, a little bit cybernetic. Clearly lore accurate. With the Institute hanging around as well and all of their biometrics research. I think it makes sense. Bring me some mute fruit for I need... Darling, so I need okay. this... This Tato if I'm allowed just to steal this. Uh... 
Excuse me, Supervisor Maybe White. Charlie, it's so good to see you. Um, mwah, mwah. Didn't you? Uh, yes, ma'am. Oh, such a gentleman, too. I simply must give you something. <laughs> you oh no! Some of our oh, uh, to <laughs> thank you. That's strange because I remember, I remember like a robot Don't farm, but I don't remember it looking like this. Is there another robot farm? Is there a farm with robots on it other than my own? Weird. Uh, we've reached level forty-eight. What do we need for medic? Oh, one more level, and then we can build that other implant. Shit. Or well, that, that implant, uh, like the research, I think it was. Okay. Um, I'm going to take Sniper. Scoped rifles gain 25% accuracy. Uh, is that not every rifle I've got? I'm going to take that too. Why not? Not that I think we need the damage at this point, but that seems pretty fun. All right, then. There's Cambridge Polymer Labs. Again, that's been on my to-do list for a very, very long time. What else we got? Lift the security lockdown. So that was the vault in the quarry, if I'm not mistaken. Let's go and have a look, see if that's fixed. No promises. I, I I tinkered with things a little bit, but I can't imagine it's it's fixed. I might have to get deep into the load order. No, see, it's clearly still um clearly still a little bit strange. Oh yeah, no, we won't worry about that for now. I did do a little tinkering, but I'll uh I'll do I'll do a deeper dive later down the line. That's okay. So then, um, other quests that we've started and haven't finished. Obviously, we're going to go talk to Hancock. He's a companion too, isn't he? Is he someone we want in the Unstoppables is a better question. He seems like a bit of a nefarious man. Like a bit of an anti-hero more than anything. Oh. The Raiders have respawned. Okay, wasn't expecting that, to be honest. Given that this is like a... I thought clearly an important area, but that's okay. We'll do what we can, huh? We'll clear a few out. Get some... Ah... Uh, Get some weapon practice in. Oh, be careful. And I do need more NPCs. That's correct. <laughs> that's really surprising that they respawned here. Obviously, they respawn all over the bloody place. But this place in particular seems a bit odd, given that it's directly adjacent to that big DLC area. If I'm not mistaken, I saw Taft talking about this. Is it just a quest you do to... To get building materials for your settlement. Or do you actually turn it into like a vault that you run? Because if it's the former. Incoming. I could just. Console complete the quest. And get the stuff and try and. Try building my own vault so to speak. This gun feels really clumsy now that I've used those other two. It really really does. Again I don't really know how to describe it. But it feels like a. Uh, I click the fire button. And it takes a few seconds for it to kind of register. Uh what I've asked for it to do, it, it is quite bizarre. Pitiful. These are my friends. Don't shoot them. That was bad. It would have been cool if I'd have pulled it off, though, eh? Just pretend he didn't see that. <laughs> Careful. We might want to consider putting a few points into endurance. To be fair, last time we came here, it took me, what, like three attempts to clear this place out? We were getting... What the hell was that? What the hell was that raider doing? It took me like three attempts to get through this, but this time, clearly we've we've come a come away because we're doing like pretty good shit this time. This feels this feels smoother, better. Like we're not in like constant threat. Granted that um the spooky fella isn't here anymore. The big the big boss guy, the ghoul fella. All the names that really are sticking with me, aren't they? <laughs> I do really like this gun. I think I think it's fun. I think it's horribly overpowered. I think it's ridiculously overpowered. But I also think it's it's just too fun to to really give up at this point. Did we miss someone downstairs? What the hell are they? Shit! Lost them. Really? A man of your talents. Okay, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Right, sorry. Yes, let's not get too distracted with uh, effectively side activities here. Okay, better living underground we can't do then. Travel to CIT. Growing like the Barbarian doesn't work either, so I'll probably just console command that just to get it off the list. Give Carrington his prototype or build an implant station. Let's go and do that then. Let's have a look at that. Why the hell not? Planty deserves something for all his efforts today, I think. Oh, 
and we shall have a peek. A lot of rads around. We should get out of here. We all good? Oh, this has been happening more and more frequently when we'll turn up and they'll just be. I was with a shotgun. Whoops. More and more frequently, people seem to turn up. God, Planty, you see how good a shot that was? He completely missed and still managed to knock his head off. Don't ask me how that goes. Planty looks amazing now. Really looks good. The skin tight suit's really helping. Pipe has been coming on to him. We've had the option for Nick. I presume we've had the option for Curie. I really do not remember. Right, build an implant station. Then let's see what we can do with it. Oh, what do you think? Has a special? Robot workbench. Uh, probably crafting. Implant station. What was that? Cyber crafting bench. What the fuck is that? I don't know, but I will be taking one. Thank you. We're going to pop that right there. Okay. Power arm station. Cyber crafting bench. Research weapons. We've already got the research station, right? That's the little... Do we, do we have a research station? We have a little PC. I thought that was it. Um, Nuka Mixer, Implantomatic. Is that not it? I mean, I'd assume that would be it. Uh, well, we'll try building a second one to see if it closes the quest off. If it doesn't work, we can scrap it. It's no big deal. We'll lose a few things, right? Does that count? I don't think that's actually it. Then, okay. Um, cybernetics. Ah, whoa. That looks um, like something I probably wouldn't want to lie on. But, you know, I get the strangest feeling that's exactly what we're going to be doing with it. Okay, um, slap that down in the middle of the room then. Oh, that looks... Connected terminal to the implant station. Oh, this is sick. Oh, this is cool as hell. Terminal, terminal, terminal. Is that... Is that this thing? Connected terminal to the implant station. If I do that... Connected terminal, there you go. Build the micro relay transmitter. Oh, this is cool. I don't know what we're doing, but it is... Very planty. Um, why can't I build that? There you go. I wanted to try and put it on top of the building. Because obviously that makes sense. Eh. Careful. There you go. Oh, back down a little bit. Back down. Back up. Boom. Oh, yeah. Research micro relay at your cybernetics terminal. Okay. Let's go ahead and throw that onto power. Oh, I've got to build another one, aren't I? Bollocks. Oh, this is cool. I'm already in. I'm already in. Uh, let's throw. Let's throw that there. I think it just looks it looks aesthetically pleasing. There you go. And then we pop that up to there. There you go. Beautiful. Oh, yeah. That feels a bit more like a mad scientist workshop. Enormous antenna, giant power pylon. Oh, yeah. This is much better. Put that like that. Just looks a bit more aesthetically interesting. Okay. Uh, right. Sorry. So back to cybernetics then. Um, holographic construct assembler. What the hell is all this stuff? Oh, there we go. We can build the ceramic... Weaver now. Okay. So what do we need to go to this? Okay. Um, there you go. Research implants and augmentations. Subcutaneous micro relay research options. Subcutaneous micro relay. Research will take 10 hours. Check back to see what new research options are available. Allows short range teleport. Allows what with the who now? Allows short range teleportation. Minus 100 health and plus 100 power drain per teleport. Oh. Lord above. We are getting into a new era of Planty Mush, my friends. Thank you for joining me today. We are going to leave it there. Because I think this is a... Again, the beginning of a new era, perhaps, for little PM. The, the, the General Atomic himself. And tomorrow we'll mess around with some implants and... Turn him into a stone cold killer. I also like how... How steady this rifle is. Look. I don't even need to hold his breath with it. That's me hiccuping that's moving that. That straight as a goddamn arrow. Oh, hell yeah. Thank you for joining me. Goodbye.